another green marble crochet tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, chunky, oversized argyle sweater dress design that I've come up with. Uh, you don't have to make it a sweater dress, you can just leave it as a sweater, crochet to the length that you're happy with. Um, but for me, I wanted something really oversized that I can sort of wear over a nice long coat with um, heels, sort of boots and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, so yes, the Argyle. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous tutorials, you'll know that I've been working on this for a while. The, uh, the idea of Argyle. Just because I really love it, um, but with crochet, especially double crochet, it's quite hard to achieve. Um, and it's only just recently sort of come together in my mind and worked itself out. So yes, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I think it's really, yeah. I mean, it's still sort of a little uh, messy looking, you could say, I don't, you know, sort of, it's cute. It's cute, I like it. Um, yeah, anyway, moving on. So, yes, what do I need to say? So, just quickly, I'll mention that this is a fairly intermediate to advanced level crochet project. So if you're a beginner, I don't suggest trying this one just yet. Uh, go back or, you know, wait till there's some more. Um, I'll be doing an easier one for the next tutorial, uh, something hooded. So that'll be nice. It's sort of fairly similar. Similar. I'm thinking of making it a uh, an, an oversized sweater dress, something to that effect. So yeah, there's that. Um, what else do I need to say? I don't think I need to say anything else. Uh, we can probably just get straight into it. However, if you haven't subscribed but you would like to subscribe to join me for some more tutorials, I would love to have you join me. Um, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you for your support. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. Yeah. Um, all my relevant links to places that you can find me will be in the description below, so there's that. Mm. I think that's all I need to say, we can definitely just get straight into making this. Oh, no, one more thing. I will do my best to put timestamps for the, uh, the beginning of each row of the pattern in the description, just so that you can uh, go back if you get stuck and you know you need to sort of begin that row again. I'll do my best. So if I haven't done that, just let me know that you really need it and yes, I'll get it done. All right. Also just wanted to mention quickly, um, just, just in case you get confused, during the last half of the tutorial, um, I decided I was really unhappy with these colors. So I started again with something completely different. Just so you didn't get confused when you got to the point where it looks completely different. So yeah, that's what's happened. Um, that's it. Let's just get straight into it now. Alright, now to begin with, we're going to have a quick look at the tiny details on the label of the yarn that we're using. So this is going to be a tricolour. Um, I think traditional argyle is, I think it's four colours, but for this it just works easier if it's three colours. So that's what we're doing. And I'm starting with the blue because the blue is going to be the main colour that I'm using for this sweater. Uh, the rest will be in this yellow and brown. Alright, so looking at the tiny details. So this is what we're working with. And if you need more time to look at anything, just pause the video. So we've got this and... I also just want to mention quickly that if at any point during the tutorial you feel like I'm going too fast, there's a feature on YouTube where you can slow down the speed of the video. So I just suggest doing that so that you can keep up at your own pace. Alright, so, also, here are the tiny relevant details. So it's saying that I should be using a 4.5mm hook, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be using my 5mm. Uh, just because I don't, I don't want this to take too much time to make. Uh, and also, I want the stitches to be fairly sort of loose. And um, yeah, it's just it's going to add to the bagginess and the sort of slouchy feel of the sweater. Also, this argyle pattern sort of looks good with a bigger stitch. Anyway, moving on, we're going to start by making the ribbed collar. So for me, I'm going to be starting with a stitch count of 112, which means we have to do a ribbed collar of 112 rows. So to do that, what we're going to do is find the end of our yarn. You're going to take the end of the yarn between your thumb and your index finger of your right hand like this. I'm going to maybe adjust the focus better. 
Then with your index finger and your middle finger of your left hand, you're going to wind the working end around like so. Grab hold, pull through a loop. So that's our slip knot. And now we're going to adjust that slip knot to the hook like so. Shove it through like that. Pull tight. There we go. Now what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to chain a length of 11. So to make a chain stitch, it is yarn over, pull through. That's one chain. Yarn over, pull through. That's two chains. Yarn over, pull through. So that's three chains. Let's get a better look at that. That's what we've got. So we're going to do 11 chains. I'll meet back up with you when we've done that and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. All right, now here we are with our chain of 11. So what we're going to do now is skipping that first chain from the hook just there. So that one just there, you're going to move to the next chain along. So that one, you're going to insert your hook like so, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's a single crochet. And we're going to have 10 single crochets all along this chain that we've done into each of those chains till we get back to the beginning. So I'll meet you at that point. All right, and here I am with that row of 10 single crochets on that beginning chain. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain up one, so chaining up one, and you're going to turn your work like so. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put your first single crochet back in the other direction. So we're going to be putting single crochets back into all the stitches. But for the first and also for the last stitch, but we'll get to that in a moment. For the first one, you're going to put your stitch through the hole of the stitch. And what I mean by that is if you turn to the top, you can see on top there, there's a V, the V of the stitch. So what you're doing is you're going beneath both parts of that, just like so. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now for stitches two through to nine, you're going to be going into the top back part of that V. And this is what's going to help to create the ribbed effect. So you're going to go into that top back part just like that. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's stitch number two. Now we'll do number three together as well. So you can see into that top back part of the next stitch along single crochet. So I'll meet back up with you with the tenth stitch. We'll do that together and we'll talk about how we're going to move on from there. Okay, so I've put all of those nine stitches in. So now what we're going to do is just like the first stitch, you see there's the V on the top just there. You're going to go in beneath both path, parts of... Mm, can't talk properly. In beneath both parts of that, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So what you're going to be doing is repeating the row that you've just done. So you're going to chain up one, you're going to turn in beneath both parts of that V on top of the first stitch into the top back part of stitches two through to nine and through the whole of the tenth stitch. And you're going to repeat that until you have, if you're doing uh, a stitch count like mine, which you know I suggest you do for this one just because... Uh, th when you get to the argyle, it's going to be fairly complicated. If you had to factor in different stitches uh, to, uh, you know, adjust for size, it might be a little bit diff you know, difficult. Anyway, so what you're doing is you're just repeating this row till you have 112 rows. And once we have that amount of rows, we're going to meet back up. We're going to talk about joining the collar, and then we're going to talk about how we're going to move on to the body of the sweater. So you can already see it's starting to sort of make a ribbed effect just there like that. All right, so let me back up with you once we've done our 112 rows and we'll talk about moving on. All right, see you soon. All right, so here I am with 112 rows of that ribbing. So having gone back and done the calculations again for the stitch count that I need, what I've discovered is that I actually only need 111 rows because what we're going to be doing is for the back, which is going to be on either side, so we're going to be halving the back portion. We're starting with a stitch count of 40 for the back, so there's going to be 20 on this side, 20 on this side, and you'll see what I mean when we get to that. But we're starting with a stitch count of 40 for the back. For each shoulder, there's going to be a stitch count of 15. And for the front, for the pattern, for the argyle pattern, it's going to be a stitch count of 41. So 41 plus 40, plus 15, plus 15, equals 111. 
So that's what we've got. So what I'm going to do is just take apart the last row, 112, which is okay because, you know, it's okay. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to join the two ends of the collar together. And to do that, you're going to make sure it's not twisted. We're going to be starting with the the uh, final stitch facing down. So you're working straight from your last row of the ribbing. And what we're going to do is we're going to be single crochet joining the last row to the original foundation chain. So again, just make sure that's not twisted. And what you're going to do is making sure the yarn is to the back there, like so. Picking up the end, find the first foundation chain along on this side. So just in there, you're going to insert your hook. You're going to yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over, single crochet, just like this. Now what you're going to do is pull that loop loose, just like this. You're going to drop that loop, loop from the hook. You're going to move to the next stitch along. So that single crochet join, you can see right there. Let's get a bit closer. So there's your first single crochet join, and that stitch just there represents that single crochet join. So you're moving to the next one along. And to sort of stay in keeping with the ribbed effect you're going to go into the top back part of that V of the next stitch along just there you're going to readjust that loop to the hook you're going to pull it through pull tight and then moving to the next foundation chain along on the other side just here you're going to where are we yep we're going to go into that next foundation chain yarn over pull up a loop yarn over single crochet so you're going to be doing that for all 10 stitches along. So we'll do the next one together. We'll do number three together. Pull that loose, drop the loop, move to the next stitch along, go into the top back part of that stitch, readjust the loop, pull it through that stitch, pull tight, moving to the next foundation chain along on the other side. So just in there, go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So I've done three. We'll go away, we'll finish up our single crochet join separately, we'll meet back up and we'll talk about how we're going to move on to the body, or to the, you know, the top part where we're going to be increased. Anyway, we'll get to it. See you soon. Alright, now here we are with our ten single crochet joins. Now what we're going to do moving on to the body is we're going to start working in double crochet. So to do that, what we're going to do is chain up two, so one and two, and we're going to be working our first round of double crochets into the row ends of the ribbed collar. So a double crochet, let's do the first one together, so it's yarn over, we're going to go into that space just there beneath the chain of two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. So we'll do the next one together. You'll be easily able to see, well, you'll easily be able to see uh, where to put your stitch because because you went through the hole of the first and the last stitch for each row of the ribbing. Uh, it's marked out very clearly where you need to put the stitch in the end just there. So you're going to move on to the next one. Number two is going to go into that part just there, of that first row end. So that's stitch number two. Uh, there's the next row end part that you're going to go into, stitch number three. So what we're going to do now is we're doing 20 double crochets across, inc including the three you've just done there. And then we're going to meet back up and we're going to talk about how we're going to start the increases. Because we are starting the increases and the argyle pattern straight off the hem or the, or the collar. Alright, so I'll meet you once we've done our 20 double crochets across. Okay, so here I am about to put in my 20th stitch. So I've done 19 across, but because we're starting increases, what we're going to do into the next row end is we're going to put two double crochets into the same space. This is going to be our first increase. All right, so moving on to the shoulder section. So we've got 15 spaces across for the shoulder section. And into the first and last space of this shoulder section, we're going to be putting two double crochets. So into that next one, we're going to do another two double crochets into the same space. This is the first of that 15. So that's one. And we've got two. So I'll meet you at the 15th. Alright, so I've put in 14 uh, 
it will into 14 spaces along including the first increase of the shoulder section just here so what we're going to do into the 15th is we're going to put two double crochets into that space one and two and now we're moving on to the front so we've got 41 spaces along for the front and we're going to start the argyle pattern right away so to do that what we're going to do is we're also starting increases obviously as well for the front so what we're going to do into the next space which is the first of the front we're going to put one double crochet but only do half leave two loops on the hook so let's do that again you're going to yarn over go into the space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two but then leave those two loops on the hook because now what we're going to do is we're going to add the yellow yarn and to do that what we'll do is focus the camera we're going to grab our yellow and this is going to be the uh, the color that's the cross section so the crisscross pattern is going to be in yellow it's going to run through the blue and brown diamonds so what we're going to do is you've got those two loops that are still on the hook just I hope you can see that maybe I can zoom in a little yeah like that all right good so here we've got those two loops on the hook and now what you're going to do is just tie this on as absolutely close to those two loops as you possibly can because what we're going to do is we're going to be finishing this stitch with a yellow loop so just like that is that okay yeah that's okay i think it's fine all right let's zoom out again no 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 out oh no that's not what i want all right so here we are and i've attached my yellow yarn so now what we're going to do is just making sure all of that so we've got the right side facing us right now you want to make sure that when you know you're doing this all the bits that you don't that you're not using so the strands that you're not using and also these loose ends are pushed to the back but what you're going to do now is grabbing onto the yellow the working end of the yellow just like this make sure the camera is focused you're going to grab the yellow yarn over finish that stitch with a yellow loop so now we're going to move on to the pattern so that increase part just there, that wasn't part of the pattern. So it's not the first stitch. The first stitch is going to be this one. So what we're going to be doing is yarn over. We're going to go into that same space, pull up a yellow loop, yarn over, pull through two. But now you're going to drop that yellow and you're going to grab on to the blue again. So grabbing onto the blue just there. Yarn over, finish that stitch with a blue loop. So now that's going to be our first stitch of the pattern. And what we're actually going to do, what I'm actually doing, and I suggest you do this, if you don't have stitch markers, just use a piece of yarn and you can sort of adjust it through the stitch. But we're going to put, a, you know, as we're going along, we're going to put a stitch marker in the first and the last stitch of each of the pattern for each round, just so that we know where we're up to, because we are going to be changing colors and it will change to blue this first and last stitch so it's going to help if you have the stitch marker just so that you don't get lost and you know you know where you're up to and you don't do anyway I just suggest doing that and it'll make things it'll make life a lot easier so there we go we've got that in there and we'll do the same when we get to the last stitch so what we're going to do now is and I'm going to run through this each row well I'm going to actually do 10 rows of the pattern with you because after that you can just repeat those 10 rows for more of the pattern uh, and I will put in the description I think timestamps for where the beginning of each round is for the pattern so we'll do that anyway moving on stitch number two is going to go into the next space along so that one just there and that's going to be one complete blue double crochet stitch number three is going to be a complete blue double crochet however stitch number four you're going to go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two but leave those two loops on the hook because we're now going to switch to the brown and I'm not uh I'm not removing any of these colors they're all going to stay connected throughout the entire pattern and hopefully I'll, I'll have explained why in the intro why I actually do it like that and so anyway I'm going to do this just tilt the camera down a little bit again and look, yeah, look, just like the yellow, move that to the side, just like the yellow, tie it as close to those two loops as you possibly can. 
All right, here we are, all attached. Now all we're going to do is yarn over with the brown. So you're making sure you've got the brown just there. Yarn over, finish that stitch with a brown loop. Now you're going to push that to the back and grab the blue again, yarn over, and into the fifth space you're going to go in, pull up a loop, but leave those two blue loops on the hook. Now you're going to pick up the brown again, yarn over, pull through two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two brown loops. So that's stitch number five. Now for number six, you're going to yarn over with a brown, go in and do a complete brown double crochet, just like that. Now dropping the brown, you're going to bring up the blue, just at the back there, bring it up, making sure the brown is pushed right to the back. Yarn over, uh, stitches six, oh no, sorry, seven, that was seven, stitches seven, eight, and nine are all going to be complete brown double crochets. Then for stitch 10, so we're going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but you're going to leave those two loops on the hook and now you're going to turn to the back like so. You're going to gently pull across the yellow yarn like this and I say gently because if you if you pull it too tight it will bunch up this section and you just really make sure it's not too tight and not pulling the stitches together too much because it will it just makes it look silly so yes now you're going to finish this stitch here stitch number 10 off with a yellow loop just like that now you're going to push that blue to the side yarn over go into stitch 11 pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then dropping the yellow again you're going to finish the stitch off with a blue loop just like that so now stitches 12 so this is like a progression of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you've got 12 and 13 are going to be just plain blue double crochets. Then stitch 14 is going to be the same as 4. So you're just going to leave those two loops on the hook. You're going to stretch across the brown yarn gently so as not to bunch up. You're going to finish the stitch with a brown loop. So I'm going to make sure that's not, not too tight. Then for stitch 15, you're going to yarn over, same as stitch 5, go in, pull up a loop, leave those two loops on the hook, yarn over with the brown, pull through the two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two brown loops. Now stitch, uh, stitch 16 is going to be the same as stitch 6, which is just one complete brown double crochet, like this. And there we go. So now stitches 17, 18, and 19, they're all going to be just plain blue. So you bring up the blue behind, making sure everything is pushed to the back. Uh, stitches 17, 18, and 19, just plain blue double crochets. Uh, 18 and 19. Now stitch 20 is going to be the same as stitch 10, so you're going in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then gently turning to the back you're going to find the yellow just there, gently pull it across, finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Now stitch 21, like stitch 11, is going to be the yellow double crochet, but you're going to finish it with the blue loop. So hang on, I... okay, don't want to crochet that into the stitch. So 21, yellow double crochet, finishing it with a blue loop. Now uh, 22, 23 uh, are going to be the same as 1 and 2 and 12 and uh, sorry are going to be the same as 2 and 3 and 12 and 13. So you can see how the pattern is progressing and we're going to continue this way till we get to 41. So I, I don't think I need to sort of stick with you more. Uh, just remember that you need, so oh, maybe we'll do this one together and then you can do the remaining ones. So what have we got? We've got 22, 23, now 24 is going to be going in. You're going to turn over, finish the stitch with a brown loop. And then we've got 25, so go in, pull up a loop, leave those loops, pull over the brown do most of that stitch with two brown loops. Now stitch 26 is going to be just one complete brown double crochet and then dropping the brown you're going to grab the blue again 27, 28, 29 are just going to be plain brown double, uh, blue double crochets. 29. 
Now stitch 30 is going to be the same as 10 and 20. So you're going to finish the stitch by turning over, gently pulling across the yellow, finish that stitch with a yellow loop, like so. Now stitch 31, that's going to be a yellow double crochet, but you're finishing it by dropping that yellow, dropping the yellow, uh, and finishing the stitch with a blue loop. So that's 31, and that's how it's starting to look. So we've got 1, 11, 21, 31. So we'll just finish up the uh, pattern together and then I think I'll leave you to do the rest of, we'll just talk through briefly how to do the rest of the increases. So we've got 31, now 32 and 33 are just going to be those plain blue double crochets. But 34 is going to be, so that's 34, is going to be finished with the brown loop then 35 you're going to go and pull up a loop uh, yarn over with the brown pull through two blue yarn over pull through two brown that's 25 26 is going to be just that plain brown double crochet straight then pulling up the blue making sure everything is pushed to the back yarn over we're going to do uh what have we got 37 38 and 39 38 Oh, getting a little tangled. 38, 39. Now stitch number 40 is going to be like the 10, the 20, and the 30. You're going to finish it off by gently pulling across the yellow. Finish it with a yellow loop. Now 41 is going to be the yellow double crochet, but you finish it off with a blue loop. All right, so I do suggest uh, keeping on top of the detangles. So at the end of each uh, set, at the end of each round, just detangle all your yarns. I mean, we're only using three colors, but if you leave it for too long, it, it becomes a nightmare. So yeah, just after this, detangle your yarn. Uh, so we're finishing that with the blue loop, and that's our final stitch of the pattern for this round. So what we're gonna do is find our other stitch marker. You're going to go in and just adjust your stitch marker to that stitch because now what we're going to do into the same stitch we're going to make sure that yellow is pushed to the back because we're not using it anymore we're going to put another stitch <clears throat> into this for the increase for the next increase of the front it's going to go into the same space as that final stitch of the pattern like so and now we're going to move on to the remaining stitches well no sorry we're going to move on to the remaining increases so for the uh increases for this next shoulder remember we've got 15 spaces to work with the first and the last of those 15 spaces are going to have two into the same space uh then after that you're going to have two spaces into the first of the remaining 20 to the end of the round so that's it. Uh, I don't think I need to stick with you for that. I'll meet you at the end of the round. We'll close up together. Um, I'll meet you at the 20th stitch because I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to need to show you something special, something a bit different to close the gap that might be there. Anyway, see you at the end of the round and we'll go from there. All right, see you soon. Okay, yes, now then, I'm on my last stitch, so I haven't done it yet, but what I want to show you is, is that we're going to have to do something a bit special for this last stitch, because if I just do it normally, like this, so we're putting in the 20th, and then I slip stitch into the top of that chain 2, so stitch at the top of the chain 2 to close the round, I'm going to be left with a bit of a hole just there, which I don't like. So I want to bridge that gap by, you know, We'll take that stitch out again so just undo that 20th stitch if you've done it what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over go into the space but you're going to sort of angle your hook around to the front like this and you'll see there's a space just there beneath that chain of two between the first and the second last uh single crochet join so just in there you're going to go in there you're going to stick your hook through to the back yarn over pull your loop through that space and then also through the last space of the round yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you see that's drawn together the last space and just that gap because it looked ugly so i didn't want it all right so now what we're going to do is just stick your hook into the stitch above that chain of two from the beginning yarn over pull through pull it through the last loop on your hook and you've got a uh, slip stitch 
All right, so now we're gonna move on to round two. You're gonna chain up two and you're gonna turn. Just like this. Now I'm only gonna have to show you what to do for the increases just, you know, once and you can finish up the round by yourself. Obviously we're gonna do the pattern together. But um, once I've shown you how to do this, you're gonna be growing the increases till you've reached a point where you can draw the front and the back it comfortably together beneath your arms. So I'll actually meet back up with you and show you how to do that. We'll do it together. So you can see what that's like. You'll obviously have to sh uh, try on the sweater to do so. So that's how that's going to be. Um, all right, what do I need to tell you? To begin, now we're putting, obviously, double crochets back in the other direction. Now, from now on, because you're chaining up and you're turning, and you're working with this uh, uh, the unbraided side of the stitch, uh, what you're going to do is you're not putting your first stitch into that one right there beneath the chain of two. It's going to be into the next one along. Because uh, the last stitch of the round is going to be into that uh, stitch right beneath the chain of two. But also, I mean, the main reason is because, and this is going to help you so that, so that you don't need to use stitch markers for where you're up to with the, um, with the increases. And here's why. So the part that you're working into that corresponds with the body of the stitch that you're working with. So I've done two stitches just here. Here's stitch one, there's the body of that stitch. Stitch two, there's the body of that stitch. And for this one, stitch three, you can see that the part that you're working into for this stitch, because you're working on the unbraided side, falls to the top left, just there, of the stitch. Because if you're working from the braided side, for, for example, and you're going along, and this is the stitch that you're working with, because you've got the braided side facing towards you, it falls to the top right hand side, the part that you're working into. So that's just something to remember, and it will help you sort of with where you're up to, especially when it comes time to, you know, do the increases. So take a breath. What we're going to do now is we're going to be putting in double crochets all the way across until we get to the group of uh, four stitches just here that form the increase or the first round of increases. So once we get to that, we're going to meet back up. We won't do this stitch just here. We'll meet back up with you at that point and we will talk about how we're going to do the increases from now on. All right, see you then. All right, so here we are at that first set of four for our first lot of increases along. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting one double crochet into the first of those four, two double crochets into the second, so one and two. Now we're going to be putting two double crochets into the third of these four, so that's the first of the second lot of two, and one double crochet into that fourth one. So just, I don't know, maybe that's a good way of remembering it, but basically what you're doing is you're putting two double crochets into the second of the first lot of two and the first of the second lot of two for each of the increases. So now you're gonna work your way along, working your way along just here, where are we? Just till you get to the next lot of increases. I'll meet you at that point. So this is obviously, obviously the shoulder section. So I'll meet you when we get here. All right, here we are at the second set around of uh, four of the increases. So once again, you're going with one double crochet into the first, two double crochets into the second, so one and two. And now into the uh, third of that set of four, which includes the first of the argyle pattern along on this on, on this round. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into that third one, you're gonna be putting two double crochets of blue, well, of blue actually, yeah, just two. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's your second lot of increases for this section. All right, so that's it. That's how you're gonna be increasing. Um, I'll go through it again once we get to the end of the argyle pattern. But for now, what we're going to do is just focus on that. So what we're doing now is we're going to put in our first stitch of this round for the pattern. So because we're pushing the yellow in like this, sort of on either side of each of these, and it's going to go in here as well. And as we're doing that, this brown section is going to 
taper outwards into a diamond. So we're sort of overlapping and crossing things. And you'll see how it comes together as we go. So our first stitch, instead of yellow, you're going to go into that one with a blue double crochet. However, you're going to pull through two, leave two blue loops on the hook. And as you can see, you've got the wrong side facing you this time. Now what you're going to do, you can take out that stitch marker actually, and we're going to add it again in a moment. So just put that to the side. Now you're going to pull the blue to the back, grab the yellow, yarn over, finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Now the next stitch, you're going to go in into that blue stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but you're going to finish this yellow stitch with a blue loop. So there we go, that's the first two. Now stitch number three and four, yeah one two, okay so see this one that we've just done, the first stitch, let's just add our stitch marker because as you can see it might get a little confusing to oh, well. I'm just imagining it well. So I'm just adding that stitch marker to the first one. Now for the next stitch along. So as you can see we've got two stitches before the first brown one. So what we want to do is we want to go in, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And this is going to help with the tapering of the brown diamond. Now you're going to pull the blue to the back like this. You're going to gently pull across the brown. Uh, gently pull across the brown. You're going to yarn over and you're going to finish that stitch with a brown loop. Just like that. Now you're going to put the brown down again. You're going to grab onto the blue like so. Yarn over. You're going to go into that next blue stitch. You're going to pull up a blue loop but then pull that blue to the back and you're going to grab onto, pull it right to the back like so. You're going to grab onto the brown you're going to yarn over, pull through two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two brown loops. Just like that. Now you have three complete brown double crochets across, like so. so one, two, and three. Three complete brown double crochets. Now you're going to drop the brown, you're going to pick up the blue again. The next stitch is going to be just one complete blue double crochet like so. Now for the next one because we're two before the yellow stitch what we're going to do is and because we're tapering it in on both sides but we'll get to that what you're going to do for this second one the, before the yellows yarn over go in pull up a loop pull through two but you're going to finish that stitch by gently pulling across the yellow and finishing that stitch with a yellow loop. So just gently make sure it's not tight. Now for the next stitch, you're going to make sure that blue is pulled right to the back there. You're going to go into that next stitch along, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but finish the stitch by pulling the yellow to the back, yarn over, finish it with a blue stitch. Now into that yellow stitch, you're just going to put a blue double crochet, but leave two blue loops on the hook because you're going to switch back to the yellow, finish this stitch, with a yellow loop. Now the next stitch along you're going to go in, do a yellow double crochet but you're finishing the stitch with a blue loop. So just like that. And if you turn over you'll see on either side it's starting to taper outwards with the crisscross uh, pattern. So now what you're going to do into the next stitch it's two before the brown so remember you're going to go in pull up loop yarn over pull through two but you're going to finish that stitch by gently pulling across the brown strand like so, pull through two. And then dropping it to the back, you're going to yarn over with the blue, go into the next stitch, the blue stitch, pull up a loop, drop the blue, pull it to the back, nice and sort of snug, not too tight but snug. Yarn over with the brown, pull through two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two brown. Then you've just got three straight brown double crochets across, one, two and three. Now the next stitch along is going to be a blue double crochet, just one plain blue. Then we've got two stitches before the yellow so we're going to go in with the blue, do most of that double crochet with the blue but gently pulling across the yellow we're going to finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Now the next stitch the, is the yellow crochet finishing with 
a blue loop, followed by a blue double crochet, finished with a yellow loop, followed by a yellow double crochet, finished with the blue loop. Now, moving on to the following stitch. So what we got? We've got, let's see how the, oh no, no, it doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four. And that one would be fine, it doesn't matter. All right, so moving on to the next stitch, once again, it's two before the brown, so you're gonna just repeat the process that you did before. You're gonna finish that stitch by gently pulling across the brown, finish it with a brown loop. Now dropping that brown to the back, you're gonna yarn over, go into the next one along, pull up a loop, uh, drop the blue, yarn over, pull through two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two brown. So we're nearly finished. I think we've got one more after this. Now you're just going to finish up those three brown double crochets straight across. Three complete brown double crochets, like so. Then the next one, pulling the brown to the back, is going to be just a complete blue double crochet. And the next one along is going to be a blue double crochet, but finished with a yellow finished with a yellow loop. Now the next one along is going to be that yellow double crochet, but pulling this one to the side, pulling this one to the side, finished with a blue loop, then a blue double crochet, pulling that to the side, bring up the yellow, finish it with a yellow loop. And then the next one along, yellow double crochet, pulling it to the back, finish that, untangle yourself a little, Finish that with a blue loop, like so. And there we go. Now we just have one more uh, progression of this pattern till the end of this, well, the row of this uh, round. So pulling that to the back, you're going to finish the stitch with the brown. There we go. Next stitch, go in, pull up a blue loop. But drop it and pull through to blue with the brown, pull through to brown. Then three straight complete brown double crochets, making sure everything's pulled to the back there. And that's it. We're nearly at the end. We're nearly at the end. So there we go. Now we just have to drop the brown, do that complete blue double crochet, go into the next stitch but complete that with a yellow loop. Going into the next stitch with a yellow loop, uh, with a yellow double crochet, but we're going to finish it with a blue loop. And there we go. All right, so our final stitch of the, uh, of the pattern for this round is just going to be that blue double crochet just there above that yellow stitch. And there we go. All right, so now what we're going to do now what we're going to do is just take off that stitch marker from the previous round, like so, or like so, and adjust it to that new final stitch of the pattern, like that. Alright, so now we're actually, we should be up to, let's have a look, hang on a second. Okay, yes, yes we are. So we're actually right up to the place where we need to start our next increase for the increases. So that's going to be into the next stitch we're going to be putting, oh I really need to detangle. So into the next stitch which is the second of the first load of increases from the previous round, you're going to put two double crochets into that stitch. Then into the next stitch which is the first of the next two from the previous round, two double crochets into that stitch. Like so. Now you're just going to put double crochets in to every stitch, one single one into each stitch, till you get to the next lot, the next, let's call it the next cluster of four. And I'll meet you when we get to that point. All right, here we are at our final lot of increases for the round, so that cluster of four just there. So we'll go into the first stitch of that cluster, which is one double crochet. Then the second stitch is going to be two double crochets. The third stitch is going to be two double crochets into the same stitch, one. 
and two, then just that one into that final stitch of that cluster. So you don't really even have to count that, you know? Uh, basically, it's just, like I said, it will be the uh, the second of the first lot of two and the, the first of the second lot of two. Just continue like that. So I don't really have to stick with you for any more of the increases. I'll meet back up with you once I've increased to a point where I'm happy to draw those increased sections together comfortably beneath my arms. Uh, not sure yet when that's going to be. But anyway, we'll see. Um, what we're going to do now is just stick together for the, uh, the remaining or the remainder of these 10 rows of the pattern that we're going to do. So that's what it's going to start to look like. It's going to start looking like that. All right, I'll meet back up with you for the beginning of the pattern on, on round three. So yeah, once you get to the end of this round, slip stitch into the chain two from the beginning of the round. So it's going to be here. Uh, might look a little bit different because you chained up and you turned. So the chain of two is going to look a little bit twisted, but you're just going to go into the uh, stitch above that just there, like so. All right, then you're going to chain up two, turn, carry on, and yes, I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so here we are on the third row of the pattern. So here I am at the beginning, so that first stitch marker along. Now what we're going to do is just into that first one you're going to put a blue double crochet. Then into the second one, so let's take out the stitch marker and just we'll adjust it in a moment. Actually no, let's adjust it now. So you're just going to adjust it to that first stitch that you've done like so and there we are just so we don't forget all right and then into the next stitch because as you can see we're tapering the yellow inwards so the next stitch is going to be a blue double crochet however you're going to be finishing that stitch by gently pulling across the yellow finish it with a yellow loop now into the next stitch what you're going to do is you're going to go in pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but we're moving on to the brown just here. So what you're going to do is drop that yellow, you're going to bring up the brown just behind like so, bring up the brown, yarn over, finish that stitch with a brown loop. Then you're going to put one, oh no wait, is that, oh no, I used the wrong, okay, that's wrong, don't do that, <laughs> don't do that. Let's do that stitch again, so you're going to do that yellow double crochet. But we're finishing it with the brown loop, not the bit, the loose end that you tied at the beginning, but the actual working end of the brown. Finish it with that brown loop. All right, now pushing that yellow to the back, you're going to go into that first stitch just there, which may actually seem a little tight. So at this point, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five brown double crochets across. But for the fifth one, we're going to be changing, or you're going to be finishing that fifth one with a yellow loop. So we'll do it together. So you've got that one, two, three, four, and for the fifth one, you're going to drop that brown and finish it off with a yellow loop. So turning to the back, grabbing the working end of the yellow, not the, uh, where is it? Not not this one. This one, pulling it gently across, finish the stitch with a yellow loop. Then into the next stitch you've got your yellow double crochet, but you're finishing that with a blue loop. So you're going to turn over to the back, grab onto that blue, gently pulling it across so you're not bunching it up, finish with a blue. Now you've got three blue double crochets across, but for the third you're going to be switching back to the yellow one, two, and for this third one, switching back to the yellow, picking up that yellow at the back just there, finish that stitch with a yellow strand. Then going into the next stitch with the yellow, you're going to finish this stitch with the brown. So just reaching over, gently pull it across, finish that stitch with a brown. This is a fairly easy, so now you've got five brown ones across, fairly easy round, like there's not a lot to remember. And the progression is really, really simple. So on the fifth one, remember we're going to switch back to the yellow. There we go. And turning over, 
yeah basically you just got to remember don't pull your strands too tight and do your best to stay untangled because you see it sort of braids together and it's really annoying i hate that all right so pushing those to the back you're going to go in with that yellow double crochet but the top of it is going to be finished with a blue loop so you reach over gently pull it across gently pull it across finishing it up with that blue strand not too tight now you've got the three blue double crochets across finishing the third one with a yellow loop and i think you can see what we're doing now so finishing that third one grabbing onto the yellow finish it with that yellow loop then your next yellow double crochet which you're finishing with a brown loop so you're just doing that to the end and obviously you're going to be finishing on a uh, a blue you're going to have two blue just there at the end now let's do this next progression together and you can finish up the last one yourself so we're just finishing that with brown uh you've got five brown double crochets finishing the fifth with one two three four and that fifth one you're going to finish with the yellow loop picking it up gently pulling it across yellow loop next stitch you're going to finish with a blue loop then you've got your gently gently not too tight I can't stress it enough just because if it bunches up it just, just doesn't work it looks stupid anyway a three blue double crochets finishing the third with that yellow loop then just finishing your progression to the end I'm gonna meet back up with you at the last stitch um, and we'll talk about moving on to the next round okay here we are and I finished up the, uh, the row so that's what that's starting to look like. It's actually starting to look really good. I love it. All right, I've moved my stitch marker up to the fine, oh, to the last stitch of the pattern just there. Now I'm just going to finish up the uh, the increases. So we've got one into there. Yeah, the remaining increases of the rounds. So we've got that's the first and the second. So that one is going to have two. And then the next one's going to have two. And that's it. And just go to the end of the round doing that. Yeah. Go to the end of the round doing that and then slip stitch into the uh, top of the chain two from the beginning chain up two, turn and we're going to meet back up for round or row four of the pattern all right i'll see you then all right now here i am at the first stitch of the pattern for round four so what we're going to do is for the first stitch we're going to go in yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to take out that stitch marker so we can attach that in a moment. So for this uh, first stitch, yarn over, pull through two, then you're dropping the blue strand to the back. You're going to pick up the brown. Make sure you've got enough yarn to pull up. And just here, you're going to pick up the brown, gently pull it across and finish this stitch with a brown loop. So where are we? There we are. Yarn over, and finish up with a brown loop so now what you're doing is dropping that actually let's do this instead because i think that is going to look a little bit messy so going in yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull the brown up behind it just there because we're still going to be using the blue for the next stitch so pulling that blue up a uh, brown up behind yarn over finish that stitch with a brown loop Push that to the back, yarn over with the blue, go in, pull up a blue loop, then you're dropping it to the back, grab that brown, yarn over, pull through two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now moving on to the next stitch, you're going to yarn over with the brown, go into that yellow stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but then you're dropping that brown to the back, you're going to pick up the yellow yarn over finish the stitch with a yellow loop now moving on to the next stitch along go in and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two but then you're going to switch back to the brown finish this stitch with a brown loop like so now we're going to work in brown stitches till we get to the second before this yellow stitch so this next one coming up just here so you're going to yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two then you're going to drop that brown 
you yarn over with the yellow pull through then you're going to go into the next stitch with a yellow double crochet but you're going to be finishing it with a brown loop like so then you're going to put a brown double crochet into the next stitch now where are we okay yes now moving on hang on yes <laughs> What you're going to do now is you're going to drop that brown to the back. You're going to pull up the blue gently because you're pulling it across across quite a distance. You're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So I think we've got how many straight blue double crochets till we get to the first yellow one. Got another couple. Oh no, hang on. No, just that one. Because what we've got to do now is we've got two before we have to put in a brown double crochet. Remember, just like at the beginning there. And we did two of those ones. So you go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then drop that blue to the back. You're going to finish that stitch with a brown loop. Drop the brown, grab the blue, go in, pull up a loop, drop that blue, yarn over, pull through two blue with the brown, pull through two. Now you're going to go into the yellow stitch with a brown double crochet, but you're going to finish that with a yellow loop. So you're picking up the yellow, Gently pulling it across, finishing up with a yellow loop. Then the next stitch is going to be a yellow double crochet, but finished with the brown loop. Like so. Then we've got brown double crochets across until we get to two before the yellow stitch. Oh, hang on. No, that's wrong. No, that's not wrong. I've done the right thing. Haven't I? Yes. Yes. No. Wait a second. Okay, yes, I was right. I got confused. So for that second one before the uh, yellow, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in, finish the stitch with a yellow loop. Then you've got a yellow double crochet next stitch finished with a brown loop. Then you've just got one full brown double crochet, like so. Now I'm switching to the blue. You've got one full blue double crochet. Like so, just gently pulling it across. One blue double crochet, like so. Then for the next stitch, it's just like you did with the two at the before the brown part here. So you're going to start the next stitch as a blue, finish it with a brown loop. And then for the next stitch, you're going to start the stitch pull up a blue loop but pulling that blue to the back you're going to go in with the brown so pull through those two blue loops with the brown pull through two then you're going to yarn over do the next stitch as brown switching to yellow to finish the stitch then we're going to have a yellow double crochet into the next stitch but finished with the brown let's go up and around up and around finished with the brown there we go then brown double crochets till you get to the second before we're nearly finished we're nearly finished so that's good I think you can see what we're doing you can see what we're doing here it's pretty another pretty easy round you know so here we go we're going to finish this second last one before the yellow with the yellow loop then the next stitch is a yellow double crochet finished with a brown loop then we've got a brown double crochet to finish up that brown section. So there we go. So that's what that's starting to look like. And that's actually looking pretty good. Yeah. All right. Where are we? We'll finish up this last bit together. So now you've just got to stretch across that blue very gently. I'm going to stretch it beneath those strands. I'm going to yarn over one straight blue double crochet like so. Then the next two are the progression leading up to the brown. So you're going to go in, finish this blue stitch with a brown loop. Whoop, no, that's yellow. Grab the brown. Finish it with a brown loop. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do that. Pull it up and around. Then dropping that brown, you're going to go in again with the blue. Pull up a loop. Drop the blue, making sure it's pulled to the back. Yarn over with the brown, pull through those two blue loops. Yarn over, pull through two brown loops. The next one is a brown double crochet finished with a yellow loop. 
So one, finishing with a yellow lip, Ooh, getting tangled. Trying not to go too fast, but I don't want to make this tutorial too long, you know? So the next one is going to be that yellow double crochet finished with a brown loop. And then brown double crochets till you get to the second last one before the yellow, which is this one. You're going to go in, pull up a loop, finish that with a yellow loop. Next one is a yellow double crochet finished with a brown loop. Next one is just a complete brown double crochet. Now you have just a couple of blue double crochets to the end. And just here we're going to yarn over, go in, hang on a second. All right, yes, um, it's sort of easy to get confused at this point. However, I'm on track, so it's fine. So we're just going to finish up that last stitch with a blue double crochet. And we're going to move. Oh, try not to be messy, but it's okay. All right, so I moved the, No, I didn't move the stitch marker up. Okay, not a problem. All right, yes, I just had to see where I needed to put my first stitch marker because I forgot to put it in. But that's the importance of the stitch markers, you know, just so that you know where you're up to with the pattern. All right, so here I am. I've put my final stitch in for row four. And now I'm just going to move that stitch marker up to the final stitch. All right, yes, and now I'm going to complete the round with uh, all the increases. Get to the end of the round, slip stitch into the top of the chain two from the beginning, chain up two, turn, come back in the other direction, and we're going to meet back up for one, two, three, four, for round five. All right, see you then. All right, now here we are at the beginning of the fifth row. So the stitch before the first start uh, stitch for the start of the pattern is actually going to be included in this row. So if you've already done that stitch, just take it apart, the one before the stitch marker. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. You're going to go into that, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but leave those two loops on the hook. Because this uh, stitch before the pattern starts is actually two before this uh, increase of the brown. So what we're going to do now is you're going to drop that blue, so you can actually drop to the front just there like that, yarn over with the brown, finish that stitch with a brown loop. And now what you're going to do is you can take out, actually, yes, take out this stitch marker. I will not forget to put that in when we've done this first stitch of the, uh, the pattern. So you're going to yarn over with the blue now, go into that blue stitch, pull up a loop, then drop the blue, yarn over with the brown, pull through those two blue loops, yarn over, pull through two. So there we go, that's our first stitch just there of the pattern, so you're going to readjust your stitch marker to that one. Oh, just in there like that. All right, now moving on to the next stitch, you've just got a brown stitch just there, one complete brown stitch. And then the next one is going to be another complete brown stitch. But the next one, because we're going to be moving on to a yellow one after that, you're going to finish the next one with a yellow loop. So you're going to pick up the yellow at the back just there, yarn over, finish with a yellow loop. Then the next stitch is going to be mostly a yellow stitch, but you're going to finish it with a brown loop. So picking up the brown, finish with a brown loop. Then uh, yeah, okay, the next stitch is going to be mostly brown, but you're going to finish with the yellow loop because the one after that is going to be that yellow double crochet finished with a brown loop, just like that. Now we're going to finish out the brown double crochets to the end of this brown diamond, like so, and just here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the blue, so the blue underneath just then, it's right there at the beginning, so you just there, you're going to pull it gently across, like I said, no bunching up. You're going to yarn over, hang on, where are we, how long am I going to do this? Okay, we're going to yarn over with that blue very gently, go into that blue stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, so I'm going to make sure that's not too tight just there, no, that's okay. So yarn over, pull two through two, then finish up the stitch with a brown loop, just like that. Now you're just going to repeat what you did here. So you're going to 
do a brown double crochet just in here till you get to the yellow cross sections and you're just going to finish up the row like this I'll meet I don't think I need to go through that with you again uh, I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row we'll finish it out together so see you've got another one here then the next one is a brown double crochet finished with a yellow loop the next stitch will be the yellow double crochet finished with a brown loop followed by a brown double crochet finished with a yellow loop and so on so you've got the yep all right meet you at the end of the row we'll close it up together and we'll talk about how we're going to move on Alrighty, here we are at the end and I'm about to put in my last stitch of the row of the pattern so we're going to just pull up that blue at the end there yarn over the last one's going to be a blue stitch just so we'll take out that stitch marker and we'll just add it to the stitch that we're doing now so just there like so there we go making sure that's not too tight and now you're just going to finish up the round with your increases and such so yeah uh all i need to do now is meet back up with you at the uh front for round what are we up to round six so that's one two three four five yeah okay i'll meet you at the front again for uh row six of the pattern all right now here we are for right, uh, row six so what we're going to do is for the stitch before the first stitch of the pattern we're going to yarn over go in with the blue pull up a loop yarn over pull through two but what we want to do now is pull this blue to the back we're not actually going to be working with the blue for this row we're going to yarn over with the brown, finish that stitch with a brown loop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that out and add it to the next stitch because that's going to be our first stitch. What we're going to do is yarn over, make sure you're going into that first, that very first stitch just there. And there we go. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's our first one. We're going to just add that stitch marker. All right, yes, so what we're gonna do now, it's very easy. We're just putting brown double crochets all the way across until we get to where you can see there's this brown stitch between the two yellow ones. And that one is gonna be the yellow stitch. So we're gonna put our brown double crochet into this first yellow stitch, pull up a loop, but you're gonna finish this stitch, dropping that brown, pull up the yellow, finish the stitch with a yellow loop. Then we've got our yellow double crochet just in there, finishing it with the brown loop, just like that. Then we've got double crochet, so you've got a double crochet into that next. Oh, all right, super tangled. But we're just going to be putting double cro oh, brown double crochets in all the way till you get up to this. And you're going to do the same just here, just here, and just here. I'll meet back up with you at this one, so just follow the same process that you did for this. You're going to put double crochets up till you get to this one before the first yellow one. Uh, switch to the yellow at the top of this stitch. Uh, yellow, no wait, no, wrong. <laughs> till you get to this one. Brown double crochet into this, but switch to the yellow at the top of this stitch. Yellow into this stitch. <laughs> Chain, yeah, so on. And like I said, I'll meet you at this one. We'll finish up the row together. Okay, so here I am at the end of the row, at the end of the pattern. So, what, okay, so for the last stitch, what we've got to do is we've got to yarn over. You're going to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two brown loops on the hook. I'm going to take this stitch marker out for the moment. And what you're going to do is just shove that to the side, and we're going to, okay, what we've got to do is stretch this blue strand right the way over very very gently very kept <clears throat> very carefully we're going to yarn over with that blue really make sure not to pull that too tight though because if you do you're gonna bunch up the whole work um don't make it too loose though because you don't want it sort of hanging hanging there all right and then you're just going to pull through a blue loop like so 
and that's going to be, okay, yep, that last brown one there, that's your last stitch. So now you're just going to put in the rest of your round, including the increases. I'll meet back up with you again when it comes time to do the patterny bit for round seven. So yes, I'll meet back up with you soon. All right, see you in a moment. All right, now then, here we are for row seven. So what we're going to be doing is... I'm going to, there's my last stitch before the beginning. So your first stitch is going to be a blue one, one complete blue double crochet into that first stitch just over the brown. So now I'm going to take that out and I'm going to add the uh, stitch marker to that first stitch. All right, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, turning over, switch to, you're going to drop the blue and pick up the brown. Pick up the brown. Yarn over, we're going into, so that's, this is two, three, and for stitch number four, we're going to be swapping over to the yellow at the top of the stitch. So where are we? So that's stitch number four, bringing up the yellow, gently yarning over, pull through. So. For the next stitch, we're, uh, we're tapering out again for the crisscross uh, criss sections. So you're going to be putting your yellow double crochet into there, switch to the brown for the top of that stitch, put a brown double crochet over that yellow one. But again, we're going to switch to the yellow. I guess what stitch are we on? This is six. Should be six anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next one's going to be seven. So seven is going to be a yellow stitch. But we're going to switch to the brown for the top of that again. Pushing that to the back. Switching to the brown. Hang on a second. Switching to the brown. Now, for seven and eight, they're just going to be plain brown double crochets. One. So that's seven. Hang on. No, wait. No. No. For eight, that was seven. Okay, so six, seven. So eight is going to be one plain brown double crochet but nine for the top of that you're going to switch to the blue so you're going to drop that brown gently pull across the blue finish the stitch with a blue loop now for stitch 10 you're going to go in pull up a loop then you're dropping the brown so we're just sort of reversing what we did with the uh tapering out of the brown we're going to do this again with the blue so you're just sort of switching up the pattern slightly that way so you're pulling up the brown loop then you're going to drop the brown yarn over with the blue pull through two brown loops yarn over pull through two blue loops now the next stitch is going to be just one complete blue double crochet like so now you're going to drop that blue bring up the brown bring up the brown again so where are you dropping it Bringing up the brown, then we're going into, uh, what are we up to? So that would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 12 and 13 are going to be normal. It's, it's just a reversal of the colors. So now all you're doing is, where are we? It's sort of a reversal of this pattern. So you've moved from, anyway. Okay, what are we, uh, oh, getting muddled, 11, 12, 13, so for 14, we're switching to the blue at the top of the stitch, my brain stalled for a moment there, okay, 13, 14, and 15, no, yep, 15, no wait, what am I, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong again, oh, okay, my brain really did stall, all right, so for the top of this, we're going to switch to the yellow, uh, switching to the yellow, it's totally wrong. Next stitch is going to be a yellow double crochet, but we're switching to the blue, uh, brown at the top of that. Then, next stitch is going to be a brown double crochet, switching to the yellow, like so. Next stitch is going to be the yellow double crochet, switching to the brown at the top of that stitch. So what do we have to do? That would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 is just going to be one complete brown double crochet. So the next one, not switching up or anything. 18. And for 19, 
just like we did before with 9 and 10. We're going to go into the 19th, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2, reaching over with the blue gently, finish that stitch with a blue loop. Then for 20, you're going to go in with the brown, pull up a loop, leave those two loops on the hook, yarn over with the blue, pull through two br uh, brown loops, yarn over, pull through those two blue loops. Then for 21, it's just going to be a complete blue stitch. So that's how the pattern's going to the end. Um, I don't think I need to do it again with you. You can finish up the remaining two. So it's just going to be uh, brown ones in until... So what have we got? 20, well, that was 21, 22, 23, just plain brown crochets. Uh, 24, you're going to switch to the yellow at the top. Uh, yellow into this one, switching to the brown at the top. Brown into this one, switching to yellow at the top. Yellow into this one, switching to brown at the top. Then working across, so that will be, oh, what have we got? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> getting muddled again. So 6, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So for 29 and 30, you're going to be switching over to the blue. Just uh, go back to the beginning so that you can follow the process again. Just here. All right, so I'll meet back up with you at the end. We'll have a look at how it's going and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. All right, so here I am at the end. And obviously following the pattern, we're going to be ending on a blue double crochet. So there we go, the pattern is coming along nicely. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this to the new final or the new last stitch at the end. And now what we're gonna do is just finish up the round. We're just continuing to do our increases. Uh, not quite, we haven't quite reached a stage where this is gonna fit comfortably beneath the arms. That is for sure. I'd say maybe another two. Maybe another one. I'll try it after another one, see how it goes. Anyway, I will meet back up with you for that so that we can talk about how we're going to uh, close the increase sections together. Together, together. Um, so yeah, just finish up the round. Uh, aside from that, what we're going to do now is we're just going to meet back up for, uh, I think we're up to round eight, aren't we? That was seven, wasn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we're gonna meet back up for round seven or the front of round seven. All right, see you soon. All right, now here we are for row eight of the pattern. So we're gonna put our first blue double crochet into that first stitch. Take out the stitch marker. And now we're going to put another blue double crochet into the next stitch. And then, what do we got next? Okay, then we're going to be switching to the brown. So you're going to yarn over with the brown, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. But as you can see, we're two from this yellow one and we're tapering the yellow ones out again. So what you're going to do is yarn over with the yellow, find the yellow, pull it across, yarn over, pull through two like so and now into the next stitch along so that brown one just there you're gonna do a yellow double crochet but again you're switching to the brown to finish the top of that stitch now you've got three brown double crochets along but for the third two and three you're going to switch to a yellow loop for the top of that like so and you're going to be putting in another yellow double crochet just here. But as you can see, this stitch that we're doing now, we would be swapping to the blue already for the top of this stitch because it's two stitches before this blue diamond that is tapering out. I hope I'm explaining this okay. So you're going to yarn over with the blue, pulling it across gently. Yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to drop that. You're going to sort of shove the yellow aside. You pick up the brown, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, dropping the brown again, you're going to pick up the blue, yarn over, pull through two brown loops with the blue, yarn over, pull through two blue loops. Now you've just got three complete blue double crochets. So that's how the pattern's going for this one. We'll do the next one again together. So we're going to drop that blue. You're going to pull the brown up and around. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. But you're finishing the top with a yellow loop. 
So you're going to gently pull it up, pull through two. Next stitch is a yellow double crochet that you are finishing with the brown loop, like so. Then you've got three brown double crochets, but for the third you're switching to the yellow again to finish the stitch, just like this. Then one yellow double crochet, but for this you're switching to the blue because it's two before the tapering of the blue diamond. Finish the top of that stitch with a blue. Now dropping that blue, shoving the yellow to the side, yarn over with the brown, go into that next brown stitch, pull up a loop, pulling the brown to the back, you're going to yarn over with the blue, pull through two brown loops, yarn over, pull through the two blue loops. Now three complete blue double crochets. So that's how the pattern is. I'll leave you to finish up to the end of the row. You've got two more of those progressions to do. Meet back up with you here, we'll see how it's going and talk about what we're going to do next. Alright, here I am at the end of the row and I've moved my stitch marker up to the last, the new last stitch. So now all you're going to do is finish up your round, including the, uh, the increases. And here is what your argyle is going to start to look like. So just point of reference, that's what it's going to look like. I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, all right, so now what we have to do is meet back up for round nine. I think it's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, all right, I'll meet you at round nine or the beginning of row nine. And we'll go from there. All right, now here we are for the front of round nine. So what we're going to do is we put our first blue double crochet into this stitch. And we're going to remove that stitch marker. And I'm going to add that to the new stitch. All right, there we go. Now, so that was stitch number one. Number two is going to be, so see so we're two stitches away from the yellow. So what we're gonna do is pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. But now we're gonna drop the blue, we're gonna pull up the yellow underneath, yarn over, pull through. Actually, let's go in front of the blue just there. I'm going to pull the yellow up, yarn over, pull through two up gently, not bunching up. So now yarn over, go into the next stitch with a yellow double crochet, but we're going to drop that and we're going to switch to the blue again, yarn over, pull through two. So now dropping both of those, you're going to pick up the brown, which is just down here, yarn over, go into the next stitch with a brown double crochet, and the next stitch with a brown double crochet, and one more, for the next stitch. So it's three complete brown double crochets. Pull that blue a bit tighter there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. But you can see we're two away from where we're tapering out for this blue diamond. So what we're going to do is drop that brown, you're going to pick up the blue, gently pull it across like this, pull through two. So you're finishing that brown stitch uh, with a blue loop. All right, so the next one gets a little complicated because what you're going to do is you've got to yarn over, go in, pull up a brown loop, but you're dropping it. No, hang on a second. Let me just think. Okay, yes. You're going to drop that now. You're going to pick up the blue. You're going to yarn over, pull through two with a blue loop, but now you're dropping it again because for the next stitch, you need to switch to the yellow. So you're going to pick up the yellow, yarn over, finish with a yellow loop. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the most complicated stitch we're going to be doing I think, um, and there's not that many of them so it's okay. So the next one is uh, a yellow double crochet, but you're switching back to the blue. <laughs> finish the top of that with a blue loop. All right, let's do that together one more time and then I'll leave you to finish up the rest by yourself. So we've got one blue double crochet, another blue double crochet, but now that we're two away from the yellow, we're going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then grabbing the yellow, we're going to finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Then a yellow double crochet into the next, but we're going to finish it with a blue loop. 
And now dropping both of those, you're going to pull over the, let's pull the, hang on, let's pull the brown up underneath that. We're going to put a brown double crochet into the next stitch. One, one, two, and three whole brown double crochets. Now into the next one, you're going to yarn over with the brown, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, but we're two stitches away from the blue, so you're going to finish off this stitch with a blue loop. Blue loop, just like that. Now, this is a complicated one, so you're going to yarn over with the brown, go in, pull up a loop, drop that brown, grab the blue, pull a blue loop through those two brown loops, <laughs> drop both of those, grab the yellow, Gently pull it across, finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Then you've got your yellow crochet, a double crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to finish it with a blue loop. All right, so if you need to, uh, if you need to go through that again, just just go back maybe to the beginning of this section. There'll be a timestamp for that. It should be a timestamp for that. Um, if not, just you know well done and you can make it to the end of the row and we're gonna meet back up and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do after that all right i'll see you soon okay here we are at the end of row nine so that's looking pretty good now what we're gonna do is just finish up the round with increases and all uh chain up two turn a comeback okay so we're gonna meet back up for the 10th row and then that's it um, I still, I'm still not sure about the width of these sleeves. So after the 10th row, I'm going to have a look and see if we need to join those increase sections yet, but I really don't think it's time. I sort of, I have a feeling I want the sleeves to be quite baggy as well as, you know, the rest, but then I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Um, all right. Yeah. So I'll meet you, uh, back at the front and we'll do uh, row 10 together. All right. See you soon. All right, now here we are at the beginning of row one for the front of row one. So I've actually reached a point where the increase sections fit comfortably beneath my arms when I draw them together when I try it on. But I don't think I want to join them just yet. I think I want the sleeves to be a little bit baggier, sort of like the, uh, like the rest of the sweater. And then at some point while I'm, you know, increasing the length of the sleeves, I'll sort of decrease the amount of stitches towards the wrist. I'm thinking of doing that. I just think it'll look nicer. Uh, anyway, let's just do this for the moment. So we'll focus on this row. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, where are we? Ah, okay. So you see the first stitch coming up is two stitches before the yellow, which we're continuing to taper out. So you're going to go in, pull up a loop, pull through two. Let's just remove that so that when we finish this stitch, we can attach the stitch marker. So what you're going to do is now just drop that, leave those two loops, those two blue loops on the hook, grab the yellow, finish that stitch with a yellow loop. Okay, now I'm going to attach my stitch marker. And there we are. All right, so next stitch is going to be a yellow double crochet and we're going to finish it with a blue loop. So you're just going to drop the yellow, bring up the blue, finish it with a blue loop. Now the next stitch is going to be a blue stitch, so blue double crochet followed by another blue double crochet. Then we're going to drop the blue, pick up the brown, and we're going to do one complete brown double crochet like so. And now, because as you can see you're two stitches away from the tapering out of the blue diamond, you're going to finish the next brown double crochet with a blue loop then dropping the blue you're going to yarn over with the brown go into that brown stitch pull up a loop drop the brown to the back yarn over with the blue pull through those two brown loops yarn over pull through two blue and now so tapering outwards now you're going to put a blue double crochet into the next stitch uh, and into the next stitch with a blue double crochet, but you're going to finish that with gently pulling that yellow across, finish with a yellow loop. Then the next stitch will be a yellow double crochet, but we're dropping that and picking it up the blue to finish the stitch with a blue loop. 
and now you've got okay so we're two away yes we're two away from that one so you're going to finish the next blue stitch with a yellow loop and the next stitch is a yellow double crochet finished with a blue loop Then you have two blue complete double crochets, complete blue double crochets, no changes. Oh. Why am I tangled already? All right. Now you're going to shove those two strands to the side and gently pull up the brown. You're going to put one complete brown double crochet in. So yeah, it's the progression is fairly simple on this one. I'll do this next part with you and then you can finish up the remaining two by yourself. So what have we got next? Next we have the two away from the blue. So you're going to finish this next brown double crochet with a blue loop. Then going into the next stitch, you're going to pull up a brown loop, pull that brown to the back, yarn over with the blue, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then, you're going to go into the next stitch with a blue double crochet. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yes, next stitch, a blue double crochet. Next stitch again, the blue double crochet, but you're going to finish it with a yellow loop. Then, a yellow double crochet finished with pull it up the other way a blue loop then a blue double crochet finished with pulling it up the other way a yellow loop and then a yellow double crochet finished with a blue loop then you've just got two more blue double crochets till you reach the brown section all right so just follow that progression that pattern for the last two parts I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row and we'll talk about what we're going to do next all right here we are all finished we've finished our 10 rounds so this 10 rounds is a full set uh that you need for the pattern so what you're going to do now is just for each round so when you get to you know your first stitch marker you're going to start from the beginning again so rows one through to ten just repeat that until you have a length that you're happy with uh i'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet and we'll find out um obviously it's going to be however many lots of ten uh, and like I said, so now we're going to just finish up the round, but like I said, I'm not quite sure if I want to close up the sleeves yet and um, just continue work on the body. So obviously uh, the next time you'll see me, we're going to be doing that. So stick around if you want to see when that is. And I'll show you how to close up the sleeves, the increase sections. So we'll do that. We'll do that next. All right. So I'll see you. I'll see you for that.